So maybe you've spent a ton of time, energy, and possibly money creating video content to market your small business. And then maybe you hit publish and you think that's it. That's as far as this piece of video content goes. It's time you take all of that hard work and stretch the lifespan of that piece of video content through something called content repurposing. And we're gonna make this process a whole lot easier inside of my favorite video editing tool called Descript. In case you're new here, this is actually part four of my Descript video editing system series. So make sure you go back to the first three parts where we talk about organizing your video content, streamlining your workflow, and editing your videos super fast. That's gonna lay the groundwork for this entire system that will allow you to now, in this part, repurpose that video content across channels, across social media platforms and marketing avenues. So today I wanna get real deep into some of my favorite tools and features inside of Descript that allow me to take my long form pieces of content, just like the one you're watching and stretch the life of them using content repurposing principles and a ton of really cool features inside of Descript that make it that much easier. So let's get into it. Okay, so first I wanna to talk to you about manually repurposing your content. And basically this just is a fancy way of saying, watch your video and pull out things you want to repurpose. So there's a few different features that I like to use inside of Descript to help me do this. So when repurposing content, I do actually like to use not the finalized edit with all of the different scene work and things like that, but more so that first draft where it doesn't have a ton of visuals and you'll see why in just a second. But basically what you can do is as you're watching the video through, let's say there's a, a piece of text or something that catches your interest that you know will be a great thing to repurpose. Whether it's using that video content, using that audio content, let's say it sparks an idea for another piece of content uh, that you could write on LinkedIn or maybe an Instagram carousel, things like that. You can come up here and use different highlights. Um, maybe you have blue for LinkedIn and you have um, red for, for YouTube shorts or something and you use yellow for Instagram. You can assign different categories and just know that, okay, this is like something that as I was watching this, this might be a great post elsewhere. Or let's say, um, you know, you come in here and you're like, okay, I really like what I said here. You can leave a comment and you can type, use this on threads or something like that. And you can leave a very specific comment. And those are just ways that, again, as you're going through that editing process, you're starting to pick up on things that you might want to repurpose elsewhere. Now we can actually take it a step further and let's say you find a clip that you absolutely love and you're like, I know I want to repurpose this entire thing as an Instagram reel. You can highlight it and what you can do is you can click on duplicate to and you have a choice here. You have new composition folder, which is a folder up in, in this uh, composition panel or a composition. You can add it to a previously created one. So typically what I like to do is when I'm repurposing, I click new composition. You will see what we just selected. So you see right here, it has automatically been brought over here. And again, you can see these already have the scenes and the layering. That's why, again, I recommend that you do this on the rough cut versus like once it's all finalized. So I just go ahead and delete those. And then what I can do from here, you can rename this like Instagram reel. Uh, then you can maybe write out the topic, whatever that looks like. Now we can kind of continue on in the process. Let's go back to the YouTube cut. Okay, so as you're watching, as you're watching, you're like, oh, I found another portion. You can highlight it. You can right click on it again. And either that panel will come up or when you right click, this pops up. You can duplicate to create a new composition. So let's say you want this is a completely different video. Last composition will add it to that previous one that we just did. Again, I have a lot of folders. So let's say I want to add it to my Instagram carousel folder. Let's say I want to add it to my short form clip folder. You can add it to any other composition that I have available in there. So this is just like a great way of manually repurposing that content and keeping it all housed within Descript. Okay, so now you've learned the foundation of manually repurposing your content. There are actually a couple of really cool tools inside of Descript that will use AI to do some of the heavy lifting for you. So you can come up into the Underlord section here and scroll down a bit until you see repurpose. So there's a few different tools here. Create Clips is pretty self-explanatory. You essentially click on it and it is going to pull those clips just like we did manually by duplicating to a new composition. It is going to do that for you. It's going to automatically take that and create the new compositions based on whatever it is in the transcript that it is noted as important. Creating a highlight reel is going to go through the entire video and pull out key points. I recommend this more so uh, for like a podcast episode. This is a great way to promote that podcast episode. It's going to pull out key things, key moments of, of what was talked about in that podcast episode. 
and then find highlights just like how we went and we highlighted in a different color it's going to do that for you and then translate translates it into another language so these two are pretty self-explanatory and creating a highlight reel out of a screen share youtube video is not always the best but let's go ahead and i'll show you create clips so you get to kind of choose the number of clips. I always allow it up to 60 seconds because that plays nice with vast majority of platforms and I can always edit it down. Um, then I actually have the layout toggled off, but you can toggle the layout on and you can choose one of those layouts that you've created. You can choose one of scripts layouts and it will again, automatically apply those edits for you, which is really, really cool. I wanna have a little bit more control over my short form edits, but you click submit. This part does take a little bit of time to process, but it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So I've gone ahead and created those clips for me. You can actually click on them and review where it's pulling from in the transcript and you can play it, watch it. You can either um, discard them, click done, it will create those compositions for you. You can still select the layout afterwards. And just know that this is a great way to start to repurpose some of that video content within the same project. So what we'll do is we'll come back into Underlord and there are a few other things that I've already kind of alluded to. We kind of talked about drafting a title, summarizing show notes, YouTube description, but you can also inside of this tool, draft social posts, draft a blog post. So you would click on it and you can um, say this is a social network, three of them. You can add an examples, custom instructions, but just for sake of demonstration, we will just go ahead and click submit. Now, these aren't perfect by any means, but you can use this as a way to like, give you ideas for threads, tweets, things like that. Um, you can do follow-up instructions and you just know that you can come back in here. Let's go ahead and do the same for a blog post. Again, it's not gonna give us the greatest output. I do recommend adding in some instructions and examples and things like that, but it took all of the information in here and it's starting the first draft of a blog post. So leaning into these tools is going to be super efficient when you're wanting to stretch the length of the video content that you've created. As great as some of these AI tools are inside of the script, I think the power in repurposing your content actually needs to move out of the app. Now, don't get me wrong, we were talking about video editing systems, but I wanna quickly show you what you can do with the transcript inside of Descript. So I have a full tutorial, literally this video goes through it, how to set up Claude for your business, but I wanna show you how I export this transcript and continue to repurpose this YouTube video. So you click on export, you come over to click on transcript and you can do a Word doc. I personally like to change it to plain text so that when I come over into Claude, I already have my system set up. Again, go back and watch that tutorial. This is that full transcript. And I say, can you optimize this YouTube video for me? And I have my AI tool set up so that this can help me make sure that the YouTube video is optimized. If we keep scrolling, um, it gives me ideas for thumbnail copy. Again, I don't always copy and paste this over, but it helps get my brain working. Using the keywords, helping me start with the first draft of a newsletter. One other really cool thing is, let's go back over into Descript. I can, let's say I have the short form clip, this promo video. You don't always have to export the transcript, but what you can do is you come over here, highlight this, copy and paste it. And what I did is I literally copy and pasted. I said, can you write a caption for this video? Again, not the best caption in the world, but again, a great first draft to help get me started. Again, pulling out different threads, posts and all kinds of different things. Uh, again, it pulls out a lot of different content, helping me write those Instagram captions. So just know that you can also take the content that you've created inside your script and export it into other AI tools to help you continue this repurposing process. All right, friends, that concludes our fun Descript video editing systems series. As always, take anything that you've learned throughout the series, whatever resonates, and start to implement it for your small business. But just know if something feels a little weird, feels a little off, or doesn't quite work for you, you can totally figure out your own way, figure out your own system, figure out your own workflows. Everything I taught you here is exactly how I run through my own video editing system. But just know that everybody's a video editing system creation and workflow tends to look a little bit different. And as always, if you want to try Descript for free, you can head to the link in the description below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week.